along with us. Obviously, yeah. he's being quarantined. We've been quarantined from from our listeners and guests and everything like that. So um, we'll do this over the phone. We can do this over the phone. And there's still lots of sports to talk about. We'll get you to weigh in first off in our topic this morning. It was kind of twofold. One, there's no sports happening. So we thought we would talk about sports movies, maybe uh, remind people to watch a classic or something they never watched before. And also, we needed to get one. We need to find a movie for Jimmy to watch for the uh, Majid at the Movies review this weekend. So what's yours? What's your favorite sports movie, if you can narrow it down? I got, I got like, a, I got a whole list. I love sports movies. There's, yeah, I've got just dumb ones that are funny. I'm like, I'm a Caddyshack guy. I'm a Happy Gilmore guy. I'm a Goon guy. I've like, I like basketball. I watched with some people last night uh, via social quarantine internet. And then uh, <laughs> any given Sunday, remember the Titans. But I think any given Sunday has to be my favorite. It's a, That's the team, a great gentlemen. Movie. That's a good Al Pacino, actually. <laughs> well, we will die. We will we, die. We used to listen to this in our locker room before football games. So <laughs> that's football, guys. That's football. It's the classic. inches we need. Yeah. <laughs> that's all it is. Uh, awesome. I'll never forget now. going to see that in the theater, and my buddy that I went and saw it with was so fired up after the speech. You'd think that he was ready to go charge. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good, right? <laughs> uh, we will jump in right away to um, a proposal that was introduced to the NHL by the players um, that gives sort of a quick little breakdown on the on the season and wrapping up this most current season. So obviously they're motivated to do to, to make sure that this wasn't all for naught. Um, so they have it broken down as training camp early July, finish the season late July, playoffs August, September, draft free agency October, and then we start the new season 2020-2021 um, in November. Yeah, we wrote about it at OilersNation.com yesterday. Um, at, at this point, obviously, you guys know everything's changing so quickly, be it by the hour, let alone by the day. So yeah. knowing what's going to go on in July seems <clears throat> impossible at this point. But I think for the readers on our website, at least the comments we got when we posted the story about this, is that everybody's just happy knowing that they're trying to make a plan to finish up the season That's and not point. just have it disappear. So whether or not that changes a million times between now and then, which is kind of what I expect to happen, um, it doesn't. It almost doesn't matter for people right now. It just matters that they're trying to make something work. They're yeah. trying to figure out how to get this season back going. They're trying to figure out how to have a solution or an end to it. And I think for a lot of people, that's kind of what they're really hoping for right now is just at least a little bit of hope that what we saw from October up until last week wasn't just nothing. Right, yeah. yeah. And, and the timelines, are, they change all the time, right, as this thing progresses or whatever. So Yeah, I mean, like, I was, I was watching something with Adam Silver, who is the commissioner in the NBA, just a few days ago, and he's like, we're not even going to evaluate, really, for 30 days. Well, at this point, 30 days seems like there's no chance in that anything's getting going in 30 days. So I think, like I said, the, for everybody that on the website on OilersNation.com is just kind of like excited that they were having some kind of conversation about it. Just looking forward to hockey coming back, no matter what that means. How many times have you watched the Connor McDavid video that he put out? <laughs> I, I covered that one. Well, covered. I posted that yesterday on the website too. And it's, it's weird, man. I mean, first of all, I love his dog, handsome boy, but, uh, <laughs> The, uh, it's weird to see that these guys are doing the same thing that all of us are. And we're just sitting inside and kind of figuring out what to do and coming up with ways to pass the time. Do you guys have uh, isolation goals that you've set? Um, well, no, no I'm really. on the airport rules one, like where you can Air drink anytime you want. Yep. Airport yeah. rules are in full effect. I ate a full bag of Doritos last night at like 11 o'clock. So I know that's a bad idea. <laughs> Jimmy's trying not to pull his dick off. <laughs> well, like, I, was, I was wondering what it would be like to, like, is there any way I can invest what little money I have in Pornhub right now? <laughs> uh, uh, I think for, for, for us, I mean... <sighs> I've already, I've practiced social distancing for years, <laughs> so th this is easy for me. Like, I'm really not noticing much of a change outside of the roads are pretty bare and, and you know. 
So, I yeah, mean, my uh, my childhood as a latchkey kid really prepared you. For <laughs> <laughs> you and I also have that in common. But there, the nice thing is, there's no guilt right now when you just watch Netflix. No, yeah. Yeah, I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Absolutely. <laughs> well, and the yeah. funny thing is, too, we'll keep uh, giving you a shout every Wednesday. I was sort of thinking last week when all of this started to happen, when they started to cancel the NBA, and then the hockey followed suit, and then all the other sports and everything like that, and everything's getting bumped back. I was like, uh, well. Do, would well, I be able to do sports? And I'm like, <laughs> well, there seems to be daily updates on um, on what we're dealing with. So I've been continuing to, to talk about sports, and we'll continue to follow your blog and and uh, and watch what you guys are doing over there on Oilers Nation. Yeah, that's all we're asking is that we are still writing stuff. We're trying to keep people entertained. We're trying to give people at least something to do for a few minutes. That's kind of outside of the horrible news that we're getting bombarded with every day. So weathersnation.com still rolling. Uh, yeah. It was funny because you mentioned it. I just listened to our appearance, my appearance from last week. We were talking about if the NHL would have to go to empty arenas. And I said, well, I hope not, but you never know. And then, <laughs> yeah. and then less than a day later, yeah. the league shut down. So Literally, it was the next day. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's It's interesting. Yeah. Are you, are you still doing any podcasts as well? Bagno? Yeah, we're doing podcasts. We did real life podcasts yesterday. We went okay. out and then we we took all our equipment out of the podcast studio. It is now in somebody's house, so we're going to be doing one of those nation radio on Friday. I might be doing a solo one just because I've got time and I'm bored. So I'm trying to figure <laughs> out what that'll look like. So right. we're, uh, we're trying to figure out ways to keep the content machine going because, like I said, we want to give somebody people a little bit of normalcy if, if that's at all possible. All right. Well, um, if you are looking for sports entertainment, we have our locker room daily duels as well. Yeah, so you so, can cover those on OilersNation.com if you want. Actually, yeah, you can do a right up on that. <laughs> We're uh, posting uh, Facebook Live videos. Um, day one, I'll give you a sort of a breakdown. Um, we have two little people on the show. Grant yeah. identifies as a little person, so he's been taking on James P. White in a daily battle. So thumb wars on Monday. It was darts yesterday, and today was leg wrestling. Um, so it's it been interesting battles, and we do that in the 7 o'clock hour. We'd love the coverage. Well, well listen, if this thing goes on long enough, I'm going to be covering any kind of sports <laughs> topics that I can get. So I'll, stay tuned, boys. You might get a little, a couple more eyeballs here. <laughs> we awesome. also encourage betting, okay? Absolutely. All right, right Bag Milk. Have a good day, brother. All right. Stay safe, boys. Wash your hands. <laughs>